Hi there, Roger here again with CryptocurInfo.com. Okay, first off, uh, we're going to be working on the MaxCoin uh, wallet here. Uh, one of the most pain-in-the-ass wallets ever. Um, I decided to make this video because this wallet is actually not the easiest to compile uh, for some people. Uh, so first off, we're going to go to the Reddit form that they have here. Um, so <laughs> this is this is kind of a, a tricky wallet here. And second off, we're going to go to GitHub. I already have it open here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and view the raw, and then we're I'm going to save it into the folder that I previously created. It's uh, called MaxCoin Wallet. So I'm going to save it, let it download. And then I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go back here, uh, read a little bit down here. Um, I'm going to create a batch file that has this command in it. So I'm going to copy this, uh, save the folder, blah, blah, blah. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, if, if you don't have the view option enabled, so uh, what you're going to do is hit tab, tools, folder options, view. And you're going to click, you know, uncheck hide extension for known file types. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And also, if you have don't show hidden files and folders, you want to show hidden files and folders and drives. So what we're going to do is click OK. We're going to start a new text document. OK. Now, we're going to look here to see what to name it. Um, so we're going to call it uh, wallet.bat. So we're going to change it wallet and then dot .bat. Okay, and say yes to changing it. Then we're going to use any text editor. It doesn't really matter. I use Notepad++. You can use anything that you want. So we're going to go ahead and, and save that. Exit out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let this, this run for a couple of seconds here. Let it run. There you go. It'll exit. And then basically what that did is it created the files in your app data. So what you're going to do is you're going to minimize all this. You're going to go to your user file here and you're going to go into app data. That's what we un that's what we changed to show files and folders. So we're going to app data, roaming, and we're going to find the max coin folder right here. Freshly created. That has your wallet in there and everything. Uh, so you're going to go back to the website here. There you go. Um, and then you're going to go to the second link down here. It's the GitHub for the MaxCoin uh, conf. So we're going to go ahead and, and copy all this. And you're going to copy that. And then we're going to go back to the MaxCoin um, app data here. Uh, we don't need this one. Uh, so we're going to create a new text document. We're going to call it maxcoin.conf. Okay, we're going to hit yes. We're going to, again, text editor, doesn't really matter which one you use. You're going to paste, save that, and then what you're going to do, uh, follow the next step. Okay, now you can run again the maxcoin bat file um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the MaxCoin wallet. We're going to run the Mac, the wallet uh, dot bat here. Uh, let it run for a little while because it's going to take a little while to sync with the network. Um, it's going to sit here doing absolutely nothing uh, whatsoever. So <coughs> what what we're going to do here is uh, to get a little bit of information on it. Uh, we're going to uh, follow the steps. So it takes a little while. It's just going to do nothing as the tutorial describes. So, here we go. Oh, wrong folder. Sorry about that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and right click. We're going to open command prompt here. And there are commands here to get some information about what the hell's going on with this wallet, uh, which is kind of ridiculous. So, uh, crap, let me, let me find here. There we go. Uh, MaxCoin, EXE, Git, uh, Mining Info. So we're going to go back to our CMD. We're going to, oh, not Control-D. 
we're going to uh, paste in here. We're going to hit enter. See, uh, current block size, it's already given me information. Uh, blocks is zero, uh, current block <coughs> TX is zero, uh, difficulty 0 0.0039. Uh, errors, it's not really giving me errors. Generate true. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. Um, it's not really giving me anything right now. Uh, it takes a while, like this guide says. And that, that kind of sucks for this wallet. You know, hopefully the devs will get their, you know, their, their crap in order and, uh, you know, get on this coin. Because this is, this is just uh, too ridiculous here. Um, and then you see this is still going. This is your, your wallet, uh, so to speak. Uh, that is your wallet instance. So once this is closed, uh, you're not going to be generating any blocks or anything like that. So uh, I mean, let's check it again. Uh, you can check it over a period period of time. Just uh, leave it open for a while. It's going to take a while, uh, <laughs> you know, to um, to sync all the, the blocks here. So uh, we're going to go to the other commands. Uh, you can also check the debug log and everything on this. Uh, I mean, there's a there's a lot of commands here, uh, as far as I know, and um, so I mean this this guide is uh, pretty much complete. So well, that's pretty much it for this video on this crappy wallet. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.